Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in today's session we are going to study how to remove the percentage of castor oil in a numerical. This numerical could be long but finally we need to find out the percentage of castor oil in it. We'll see all the formulas associated with it and the routes that we can take. Solve problems percentage of castor oil. Now this percentage of castor oil is generally in a blend. So whenever in the question if you find the word blend or you find the word castor oil, you are going to use this method and this formula. Let's look at the question. A 16 gram of blended oil over your C. The word blended is used. That means we are going to use certain formulas which are related to the percentage of castor oil. Was heated with 50 ml of KOH. This mixture then required 31.5 of 0.5 normal of HCl. 50 ml KOH required 45 ml 0.5 normal HCl. Find percentage cottonseed oil. Its saponification value is 192 mg. We shall understand that over here this is a very important information. Because saponification value, generally in all the questions, they ask us to find out the saponification value. Over here, they have already given us saponification value. Since they have given us the value of saponification value, we can use the formula of saponification value. And over there, we can just replace the value by 192. And we can find out the remaining missing components. Let us see the solution of the same. First, we'll see the given Weight of blended oil is 16 grams. We got it from here, 16 grams of blended oil. That means this becomes my first given over here, that weight of the blended oil is nothing but 16 grams. Amount of KOH is 50 ml. This becomes my second given because over here, heated with 50 ml of KOH, that means this becomes my second point over here. In the question, they have also given us the amount of HCl. The amount of HCl is to be given as 31.5 ml. With the amount they have given the normality of HCl, the normality is given as 0.5 normal. The last thing which is given to us is the saponification value that is 192 mg's. We have to find the percentage of cotton seed and that is question mark we do not know that is what we will have to find. That means we have to find the percentage of castor oil but it is the same thing whenever you see the term blend into the oil you use the similar kind of formulas which we are going to use over here. We will see the solution percentage of cotton seed oil in blend. We have since 15 ml of KOH is equals to 45 ml of 0.5 normal of HCl. From where do we get this? Let us see the question once again for this. So when you see this line 50 ml KOH required 45 ml 0.5 normal of HCl. That means that this 50 ml is equal to 45 ml of 0.5 normal of HCl and that is the same thing we'll write as the first sentence of a solution. The first thing whenever we do when we solve problems is find out what is to be given and what is to be found out. That means all of this is given, the saponification value is also given. And what do we have to find out the percentage of cotton seed. The next thing we do after getting the given and to find is we try to decode the statements which are present in the problem. We need to understand that the answer of the problem is inside the problem statement itself. That means over here we'll have to decode this sentence first. That means 50 ml of KOH required 45 ml of 0.5 normal of HCl. And so from the question we get that 50 ml KOH requires 45 ml of 0.5 normal of HCl. The formula that we are going to use over here is N1V1 is equals to N2V2 where N stands for normality, V stands for volume. So normality of one substance into volume of one substance is equals to the normality of the second substance into the volume of second substance. The first substance which we are talking about is KOH and the second substance which we are talking about is HCl. So over here I can write this as KOH. And over here, I can write this as HCl. Whenever we are talking about KOH, the normality of KOH is not given to us. The volume of KOH is given to us. When we are talking about HCl, the normality of HCl is given to us and the volume of HCl is also given to us. 
that means out of four components we already have three components those three components are volume of koh normality of hcl and volume of hcl thus what we can do is n will be equal to n2 v2 upon v1 we are just putting this v1 below and finding the value of n1 first let us substitute the values volume of koh is given to us as 50 therefore n1 into 50 is equals to normality of hcl is given to us as 0 0.5 volume of hcl is given to us as 45 so n1 into 50 is equals to 0 0.5 into 45 what will be the value of n1 it will be nothing but 0 0.5 into 45 and this will go down in the denominator over here Thus, it will be n1 is equals to 0 0.5 into 45 and this 50 which is gone down into the denominator. You multiply 45 with 0 0.5 and you divide it by 50. Finally, the answer you get is 0 0.45 normal. Now, this 0 0.45 normal is nothing but my normality of KOH. That means the value of n1 is nothing but 0 0.45 normal. Normality of KOH is 0 0.45 normal. Weight of the blended oil is 16 gram. Weight of the cotton seed oil will be 16 minus x gram. It is very important for us to understand that this cotton seed oil is a part of a blend. This blend can be blend of two oils or blend of oil with anything else. But the entire blend is of 16 gram over here. We are trying to find out a part of that blend and that part is cotton seed. If the total is 16, the cotton seed will be 16 minus x grams. Now let us go to the saponification value process. So over here saponification value is nothing but blank minus back. Now what do we mean by blank and back? Blank and back are nothing but the type of titrations over here. Into n where n stands for normality. Into 56, this 56 is always the constant upon the weight of the oil but over here we are just looking at the weight of the cotton seed oil and not the entire blended oil and thus instead of putting 16 we are going to put as 16 minus x so this 16 minus x is nothing but my weight of the cotton seed oil blended oil contains both castor oil and petroleum oil but out of this petroleum oil we won't take into consideration the only thing we'll take into consideration is castor oil now why don't we take petroleum into consideration we'll see since petroleum oil has saponification value always zero the saponification value of petroleum will always be zero that means the blended oil will contain castor oil plus zero now since it is zero we do not consider this let us calculate the saponification value of the blended oil now saponification value will be volume of koh into normality of koh into 56 upon weight of blend now volume of koh is already known to us it is given in the question normality of koh we just found out using the formula n1 v1 is equals to n2 v2 where we had volume 1 normality 2 and volume 2 that means volume of koh was there normality of hcl was there and volume of hcl was also there and thus by cross multiplication we found out the normality of koh 56 is again just a constant and upon weight of the entire blend. So now volume of KOH is already given to us in the question which is 31.5. Normality of KOH we just found out which was 0 0.45. 56 is the constant that we use in the formula of saponification and upon 16. Therefore, saponification value of blend will be 21.26. This 21.26 is nothing but when we calculate this entire thing, it boils down to 21.26 mgs of KOH. Therefore, percentage of castor oil will be saponification value of blend upon saponification value of castor oil into 100. The saponification of value of blend, we just found out 21.26 from here, 31.5 into 0 0.45 into 56 upon 16 boils out to this 21.26. We use that in the numerator. And saponification value of castor oil, that is 192. This is already given to us in the question. This denominator is already given to us in the question. We use it over here, 192 into 100. And this entire thing forms 11.04%.
therefore the percentage of castor oil in blend is 11.04 percentage this is my final answer for the problems of percentage of castor oil we finally have to find the percentage of castor oil by using saponification value so either they will give us the saponification value already in the question or they will give us the normality either of them the one which is not given we'll have to find that first over here in this question the normality wasn't given to us so first we found out the normality of koh and from that we led to this path if the normality is given to us but the saponification value is not given to us we'll first find out the saponification value using the normality we already have finally we'll end up to the percentage of castor oil in blend but this will be my final answer so in today's session we studied how to calculate the percentage of castor oil in the blend we studied that whenever the word blend or blended oil is used in the question we find out the percentage of castor oil in it it can either be done by using the saponification value which can already be given in the question or either the normality or the volumes either or will be given in the question finally we land up to finding the percentage of castor oil using the various formulas Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikira and subscribe to Ikira.